welcome to another video walk on the wild side and i'm here in blackpool it's eight o'clock on a monday morning and it's the the day after the big storm storm ashley if you didn't see my video that i did last check it out storm ashley rolled into town last night and it caused a bit of chaos especially on the promenade here i'm just at the central part of the promenade here just coming up to the central pier they actually had to close the promenade off last night the fire service and i'm just on the tram tracks at the moment i know i'm not supposed to be on these on a bike but i'm on the bike in this video folks uh, it'll help me get around a bit quicker there's the central pier over there they shut that early last night because of all the winds i think they shut it at about six o'clock yeah so it was around about then when the winds were just getting up. So what I thought I'd do in this video is we'd take a look around the promenade and see what the damage is, because it did cause a little bit of damage, especially to some of the, uh, well, I know it, it caused a damage to a marquee. There was a marquee up here. Yeah, so uh, we'll head up there and we'll go and check it out. But let's have a little look at around here. It was really busy last night. It, yeah it was it was really busy if you saw my video when i started that video last night when i came along i came along here i came i started down that way there i started at manchester square and you know all along here it was it was quite busy but it wasn't until i got to this section now where i am now that uh, it it just seemed to the, the weather just seemed to kick off and in front of the central pier i don't know if you can see but there's like loads of sand there look at that loads of sand and there's loads of sand around here as well look at this this is where all the sand collects and the wind just seems to whip up around this section of the promenade but uh, I'm just looking around and the illuminations are all intact. I mean, the illuminations, are, they're, uh, they're made to, to stand up to, to this kind of weather, of course, you know, but uh, I think as we go, I'm going to head into the town centre because I know there were some shops and that that uh, might have had some damage. I know some signs fell off some shop, but look at that there. There's a massive sand dune there. Oh my goodness, that is one big sand. that's about a foot high that wow that is amazing yeah and just round here there you go there's one of the trams there look the sand on the tracks was causing problems as well there was a heck of a lot of sand all over the tracks and uh, they had to go really slow because the sand can derail the tram so anyway let's move a bit further up They've had the sweepers out this morning to try to sweep this sand here. But yeah, it was really whipping up around this area here, just by the central pier. I'll just show you the other way. There you go, there. Well, some people were having a bit of fun in the blowing sand, including me. But there were other people who weren't really having a lot of fun trying to trying to rescue some of the uh, the light pool displays, especially the one inside the marquee. We'll get to see that in just a minute. But let's have a little look out. It's not too bad at the moment. The winds at the moment are well, they're probably about 25 miles an hour, gusting to about 35. But here's a look at the beach. There you go. You can see the sand blowing across there, can't you? And that was a real problem last night, the sand blowing right across. Dry, because the tide was out, you see. The tide, the tide, it was low tide. So it, the sand had had chance to dry up during the day because it was a dry day. See quite a bit of debris around here. And then that just caused all the sand to, uh, to blow all over the place. Odyssey's still intact. Well, that's good. That's all intact. So I'm making my way towards the tower and then I'll head into the town centre. We'll have a little look around there, shall we? But you can see along here, when it was high tide yesterday, it was actually coming right over 
as you can see there's a lot of like bits of wood and seaweed and all sorts of stuff along here council are out trying to clear it all up at the moment they're always on it the uh, the cleanup team they're on it pretty early got a lot of vans up here oh look at all this here wow look at that but it's all natural stuff it's all wood seaweed and I don't see a whole lot of litter along here actually which is probably a good thing but we're just coming out now at Coral Island Hi biker, you okay? <laughs> oh I've just seen I've just seen old Blackpool biker Wow look at all the sand along here Shall I ride through the baubles? Here we go few uh, railings uh, blown about this is Spyro yeah so they turned a lot of these things off last night yeah they had to turn them off um, we're just coming up now to the comedy carpet there's a tower for you all the lights are still working <laughs> we've got these uh, jellyfish things here there they're intact it's a bit of a disaster really isn't it they'd only just started the light pool festival on saturday night and then the next night sunday night we go and get a storm that comes in and uh, tries to wreck the whole thing doesn't it yeah but they seem to be all right the, some of the fencing and that's blown blown over as you can see we've got these massive big like water butt things that hold all these things down so let's head a bit further up shall we Well, we're now at the marquee, and there you go, folks. Let's have a look around, shall we? It's still there. It's still there. You know, I, I was frightened that this thing was going to blow away, you know. And it's got a display inside it. Oh, my goodness, folks. I, I don't think it's good for the display. We've got the flux display in there. Can you see? Uh, how much is that worth? And that was one of the, the main attractions of the light pool. Flux extended. Uh, light up artwork with music. And now look at it. Well. Can it be repaired? Well, I don't think we're going to be seeing that again at this... Uh, this uh, this year's festival, I think that's the end of that, folks. It looks like they're going to have to repair it. But we won't see any more of that, folks. But this is how the marquee looks. Yeah, so the fire service ended up closing the promenade. They closed the promenade off last night, just after I'd started filming. And I think this might have been one of the reasons why they closed it off because uh, and I saw this thing as well and it was really good and it's such a shame that uh, it's um, it's ended up being damaged but look at that there look there's a look inside they're taking it all to bits today so that's the end of that folks no more flux but let's have a look over here shall we uh, the weather spoons will just be opening up now We've got the donkeys here. The donkeys. The donkeys are still with us. The donkeys. We've got the donkeys, folks. How's it looking over here? Oh. Wow. Some of the uh, some of the boarding has been blown over a bit. There's a little bit of repair work to go on here that's blown over a little bit we do have this big windbreak behind here which does help quite a bit you know to keep the wind off this part of the promenade here oh I just noticed the moon up there look it's a wailing gibbous moon oh it's a nice looking moon there anyway how are we looking on the coming of carpet quite a lot of sand look at that there 
Let's check out the tower, shall we? It's lit up in gold at the moment. Look at that there. The tower's still standing. Well, it's been there for 130 years. It's seen it all. Blackpool Tower. You know, these things that we're looking at here, they're just objects. And hopefully there wasn't anybody injured last night. It was just, like I say, buildings, objects, things like that. Because it did get very frightening, I have to say. It was pretty frightening. When I got up to here, and I went up that, I went into there to take cover into the Blackpool amusement, amusements and you couldn't go in the front door. So I had to go up that road there. And honestly, trying to get up there was a nightmare. The wind was just funneling down that road there. But anyway, I'll just give you a look round. Let's have a look. Just to... There you go. So, the marquee will probably be okay it's just it got torn you know but it's that display inside which uh, probably cost a lot of money and that's not going to be cheap is it so what have we got here this thing here is this did this survive I don't know I did mention when I came round during the day that a lot of these things are very, very delicate, you know, and uh, as you can see, we've got some pretty serious looking electronics on here. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be sticking through there. So yeah, there's a little bit of work to do today to try to see if they can get these things trying to see if they can get these things back working again for the rest of the festival, which runs until Saturday the 26th. Ah, right. Let's carry on now. I'll, I'll head a bit further north now. So I've just got to pass a wedding chapel now. Projection unit there, that's one of the, the light pool displays. So I'm just heading up to the north pier. Oh, you know what? I actually heard that there was some damage to the north pier. I've heard the Helter Skelter's blown off. The Helter Skelter's blown off the north pier. Let's have a little look over here. Yeah, there's a Helter Skelter. Um, I think it was a helter skelter. Can you see they've got uh, they've got a loader down there? They're doing something at the end of the North Pier. But I heard that the helter skelter on there has blown off. Yeah, where did it end up? Might be in Scotland or somewhere like that by now. Anyway, we've made it to Talbot Square. We're just going past the front of the North Pier. North Pier was opened in 18, 1863, the North Pier, 1863, yeah. followed by the Central Pier, as we now know it, 1868. So these buildings, these structures have been with us all that time, so they're not going anywhere, they're not going anywhere fast, but there are bits of them that have that have like the jetty on the North Pier, that, that disappeared in the 90s, I think. <laughs> yeah, so it did have a jetty on the end of it, the North Pier, yeah. If anyone remembers the jetty at the end. And now it appears that we've lost the Helter Skelter. I think it was somewhere just, you know, just in front of the Joe Longform Theatre. I think if we look down on the beach, if I show you down here, you, you might be able to see that, that um, there are tyre tracks down there on the beach, whether they've been down to clear it up or whether it got washed away, I, I, I don't know. I really don't know, but there's no helter-skelter there anymore. 
on the North Pier. I don't even know if they used it. Anyway, I think it's time to, uh, to head into the town centre and we'll have a look around the town centre and see, see what's going on there, shall we? So I'm just heading up Queen Street. Queen Street, at, uh, just after eight o'clock in the morning. This is what it looks like. It's pretty lively at night around here. We've got walkabout over there, but look at it now. It's dead, isn't it? Monday morning in Blackpool. I hope you haven't got the Monday morning blues. Anyway, uh, heading to the town centre. Yeah, I heard that there were, there's a shop up here somewhere somewhere around here that a sign blew off we'll go and take a look this is now Abingdon Street someone's got a parking ticket on a car over there I'm heading towards Springfield Road look at these old buildings there that old little church there and we've got the Baptist Tabernacle in front of us it's got some amazing old buildings in Blackpool haven't we So I'll just head up here to, to Dixon Road. We'll check out this shop, which I think had a sign blow off it. I think it's the money traders shop just up here. Uh, they've got some tape around it, can you see? So that, that shop there had the sign blown off. So let's go and check it out, shall we? Money traders. Yeah, that's the sign down there, look. Yeah, it was pretty dangerous, actually. I think that bin's moved, doesn't it? It was pretty dangerous last night. Yeah, it was. Look at that. Here, you can even see the old tiles behind it. There was, there was tiles behind that sign there, look. So yeah, money traders, you need a new sign. So this is now Dixon Road. Just over there we've got the tram stop North Station. Just come up to Queen Street again now, where I was before. This is the top end of Queen Street. Doesn't actually look all that bad along here, really, when you think about it. There might have been a few slates blowing off houses, but I think structures, quite big structures, seem to have got away with it. I just saw a piece of slate on the floor then, so... Yeah. You've got to watch out for falling slates. But we're just coming up to Topping Street now, and they've got... One side of the road has been closed. What's that over there? That's a Talbot Road Pharmacy. There's something, a bit of insulation outside that there. Let's have a look down Talbot Road. Doesn't look too bad actually, down there. But as you can see, just here, we've got a road closure. just outside the Iceland so there was obviously a bit of debris possibly blowing around this morning not this morning sorry last night council van over there so all that road there has been blocked off uh, there you go Bit of, 
little bit of traffic curse at the moment. People wanting to turn right and they can't because uh, it's been closed off that way. There you go. The Dean's Gate Kitchen. Is that place still open? The Dean's Gate Kitchen. Anyway, look at this here, look. Anybody fancy any insulation? There's plenty going here. Check it out. So I'm now in Bickerstaff Square, the Talbot Gateway, and we've got another light pool display here. I don't know the name of this one. It just looks like a big silver football, but this one is intact. It makes you think that maybe, you know, that flux extended that they had inside that uh, marquee. Wouldn't it have been better putting it inside somewhere like the Winter Gardens or somewhere like that? But this is how it looks up here. Just at the other end of that road that they've closed off over here, we'll just take a quick look down there. Outside the new DWP offices. Yeah, so this road here is... Uh, closed off yeah so maybe it's an unsafe building or something like that I don't know but uh, there you go I think that's probably what it is it's probably some something in danger of blowing off a building or something like that but there you go that's the situation in the town centre So I'll leave it there now, folks. Thanks for watching. That was the aftermath of Storm Ashley here in Blackpool. If you liked the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.